Hello, today we will see some uh, Russian interrupters, switches and potentiometers. Let's start with uh, micro switches for uh, electromechanical use. This one is a tiny, tiny, tiny kind. You can find them in uh, aircraft instruments, for example. You have here the manufacturer logo, the model uh, reference on the original mounting hardware. This one is another kind with uh, other uh, button type. Still with its original hardware. Same stuff. This one is a little bigger one. You can see the logo here quite well. It seems to be some kind of bird. The box has a nice amber tone uh, plastic or some kind of res resin. Still the same in a big bigger uh, configuration. It looks like uh, regular micro switches. These are uh, military approval stamps. You have another kind of logo. This was mainly uh, electric motor manufacturer, I think. Then you have a common, normally open or normally closed contacts. This one is a little uh, bigger model. I think it is uh, mains uh, current rated. Then buttons. So this kind of buttons is quite fun because in fact they are made with the same micro switches inside. They did wrap uh, something around with, to hold the button. It did exist in a simple or uh, multi-contact. And it did even exist in a slider type. A nice uh, brown button. Then, also in a toggle lever type, still the same construction. This is an OTK stamp, also military quality stamp. This kind of buttons were used either in military radios, aircraft instruments, uh, laboratory instruments, or ever in a consumer products. You still see here the same uh, logo. Okay, then some other buttons. This one is a main rated uh, switch. You still have the same manufacturer logo. It is rated uh, 2 amps at uh, 220 volts. Made in uh, 1976. And uh, if this kind of button can be uh, completely uh, taken apart, you can uh, just uh, screw here. Then a little better uh, quality one, still uh, rated uh, for uh, mains current, 3 amps at 220. This one is better because the lever is uh, in plastic. Some more main switch. This one is from a television set. There is no logo on this one. They did exist with uh, different uh, colors of buttons. 
I have uh, white, grey and black. Then now to Rotary Multigang switch. Nice uh, quality stuff from uh, military radio. So it exists in all kinds of uh, configuration. Let me zoom out. Here is a more compact design. And here are larger design contact plates. So you can stack a lot of them together. Last thing, this thing is a telephone uh, device switch. Very commonly used in uh, telephones. It works like this. Now onto potentiometers. This one is a big uh, potentiometer with a uh, switch. You may find in two TV sets. We well, have a manufacturer logo. Carbon track. Then some uh, wire wound potentiometer. Good quality. This one is opened. Good quality used in aircraft uh, measuring equipment they came in uh, different uh, flavors they could be fitted with uh, locking nuts here is the manufacturer logo model kind manufacturing date The same one with uh, another kind of logo and uh, another kind of uh, axis. Still overlooking that on it. Another uh, kind of uh, wire wand. This one is quite a mysterious device, there is nothing written on it. Smaller one for a TV set use. Aluminium body. You have here the manufacturer and the quality stamp. Still a wire wound. Bigger model with a wire wound. You may find it in uh, film projectors for uh, setting the motor speed. And uh, the fun fi thing is uh, you can uh, take them apart completely. Here is the wire. Same uh, PA or something logo. Made in 77. Some green uh, coating on the wire. Green paint. And uh, ceramic uh, body. Okay, some uh, better uh, looking stuff. This is a high quality one for measuring equi equipment. It is a, could be a setting a knob onto an oscilloscope front plate. The smaller one, this um, uh, kind is very, very common. It is the kind you will find if you take a part uh, CI94 oscilloscope. Then, in pots. 
Yeah, is a set of three three bots, multi-ton ones. It had wires uh, mounted directly on it. Other trim pots of a linear kind, multi-ton uh, shaft. This one with a plastic body, you can uh, also almost uh, see the insides. I have none of them. This one in brown body. This one in aluminium body. Then what else? This A very high quality multi-turn potentiometer. I believe there is an helicoidal uh, track inside. You can do many, many turns on it. It is a kind of stuff you will have in uh, precision aircraft instruments, as a gyroscope, so things like that. Yeah, this one is a little bit Very pretty stuff. Here you have a neat uh, logo of the manufacturer. It can be taken apart also, but there is uh, some kind of a factory seal on to one screw. You can almost guess the internals so. Okay, I have some time left on the video, so I will show you also this uh, beautiful relay. I need to disarm because it is very big. Where is my button? Okay, sorry. For the background. So it is a military quality relay with a vent for uh, moisture. Here is the schematics. Mounting screws. Some uh, quality stamps. The stock number and the uh, manufacturer logo. Okay, and on the top you still have the free wheeling diode mounted and some resistors over the contacts. And it could be taken apart if I remove these screws. But these are uh, paint sealed, so I'll not do it. This one is a metal can one. Also, chassis mounted. Here is the quality control stamp and the stock number. Then, last thing for now, this is a photo multiplier tube from a night vision device. Very basic one. Three P one made in seventy two. Here is the output side. Here is the input side. It has only one high voltage uh, port here and one ground around here. And I think it is almost empty. So it's all for now. See you next time. Thanks.